Okay, guys, so the first thing we're getting ready to do with this lobster pasta, we have about six big lobster tails. And what we have done, we've cut them up into little wedges. And they're gonna be so good. So tonight we have some some toppers, just some scallions. Uh, we julienne a little bit of uh, green onions in here. We have some fresh uh, red bear pepper. We have some parsley. We have some zucchini, some squash, and then guys, remember those broccoli uh, ends. Hey, we're still using those broccoli stems. We have some rustic tomatoes uh, with herbs, garlic, basil, everything in here. And this is the main ingredient right here. This is some sauce that we made up. It already has everything in there to season. So we're not going to season anything because everything is in here. The only thing that we will add in, maybe a dash of pepper. Okay, so we got some lemons here. Um, this is butter. Everything is already in here. We have our pot over here getting hot. Um, we have our oil right here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, we got the water ready. We're gonna drop in just a teaspoon of um, some uh, oil in that pot. We've already added in some salt. So I'm getting ready to open this up and we're getting ready to get started. So what I'm gonna do, simply gonna take a whole thing of noodles and I'm just gonna throw them right into this pot. And this is gonna be good, simple, but delicious. I may throw in another one, I don't know. <laughs> but right now we're gonna start with that and they will still continue to break and get in there just like I like it. So tonight it's just Victor and I. So we're gonna start with just this. And we'll have plenty left over for tomorrow. Okay, so come on over here. We have some beautiful uh, olive. Um, no, we're gonna use avocado oil on tonight. So we're gonna use just a little bit because as I stated, everything is in that sauce. Okay, this is looking good breaking up just like we want it. Yes, that is gonna be delicious. And then if you have extra noodles, you can do more. I like my noodles fresh. So even if I wanted to have some leftovers, I will be using fresh noodles every day. <laughs> okay, so now the pot is nice and hot here. And the first thing we're going to do, and there again, we're on that smaller eye tonight, but that's okay. So, you already know. The first thing that we're going to add in is the broccoli. What goes first? The broccoli. And boy, what I'd love to just be adding in some salt and pepper and all that stuff, but if I do, I will overdo this dish, and we don't want to do that. So guys, that's what we're getting ready to do. So I'm going to paddle here, kind of paddle this around a little bit. Okay. And this dish is not going to take long, so as we continue, we'll just be adding in things as we go. So we have the broccoli in there. So now, second, you can turn that down. Let's try to put something over there. I hope everyone is having a blessed evening. Have a little jazz in the background. I do not own the rights to the music, but hey, we love it. Okay, now. Add in some zucchini and squash. Put them right on in there. Because every dish you want to have just some vegetables. So I chose these what I had left over, but this is something that uh, I just decided I wanted to do and try. I've never made it with the vegetables like this, but I thought it could be, it has to be great. Right. 
And there again, y'all know me, I like fire. So I'm gonna move him over to a bigger eye, okay? Noodles is looking good. I'm gonna cook them a little al dente uh, because we're gonna throw them in the mix uh, later on as we get uh, closer to the end. This meal should take you no longer than a quick 30 minutes. You can have everything that you want uh, in this pot and cook in about 30 minutes. So, now we need some juice to add in here. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the red peppers. And if we need a little bit of oil, what we would do is we would just give this a teaspoon of our concoction right here. Just if we need a little oil. And like I said, that's simply just some garlic, herbs. Oh yeah. And you put in your vegetables. If you want to roast them, honey, this is how you roast them. You put them things up on a beautiful number on, on that eye. Oh my God, that's smelling amazing. So let's go ahead and put those onions in there. Ooh, that's coming together so good. And I do want to chop just a little bit of parsley in there. Yeah, a little bit more of that. Oh, this pasta. Pasta in there. Ooh, this sounds good, honey. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, guess what? These is almost where I want them. Oh, that smells amazing. These flavors come together so good.
cheese stick, add in about a quarter stick of butter. You see that? Look at that, guys. What goes in now? Back in the vegetables. Let them marry all together. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lobsters don't take long. The next thing that we're going to add in now is our sauce. told you this dish would not take long at all. Honey, when I tell you guys, if you guys can smell this aroma over here. Ooh, Ooh that eye's nice and hot too. Look at that. I'm gonna let that just simmer just for a minute while we get ready to strain our noodles. And let that just do what it does. Now right here, guys, is where we're gonna add in a nice squeeze of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Ooh. Call Jesus. Somebody had to call him because you have to call him right here. <laughs> it's almost ready. I'm going to give it a quick taste. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of onions right there on the top. A little bit more of that fresh parsley. Turn that down to a simmer because it's ready. And check the noodles. Mm -hmm. The noodles are ready. Now, we could either stir this all together, but me, I know that we won't use this much sauce. We'll have some for tomorrow or the next day or for the company that's coming over, maybe. It may stop over, I don't know. We always have something on standby. See, this is where all the juices from the lobster comes out and give you the flavor that you're looking for. Wow. Look at that. That's ready, honey. And that was under 10, 15 minutes. Uh, just to do the pasta. Now, I'm going to take that pasta. Now what I like to do, after I drain my pasta, and if I was doing it where, that's just simple, that's good. I will take my uh, dish, I will put my pasta back in my pan, just for a second. I will add a little oil, olive oil, 
or either some, um, I'm gonna use avocado oil tonight. And this is where I will put in some nice, fresh parsley flakes. And some basil. I do have some uh, fresh basil, but I'm just gonna use a little dry here. I should be off. Give it a quick stir. Now this is where you can add in a little bit of white pepper or black pepper. You can add in a touch of butter, but you have butter already in your sauce. Okay, so this is where you would add in some, let me get a bigger spoon. into my pasta. And we'll save a little juice for the top. I'll give it a quick stir. Get ready to plate this, guys. We're done. Dinner is served. Okay. So, now. Let's plate it. And then you will put a nice piece of lemon or something on the top, guys. That's it. Isn't that beautiful? Lobster pasta, Chef Lisa's way. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful, huh, my side of my pasta. Guys, this is gonna be amazing. I hope you guys have a blessed day. This is Chef Lisa at Maxwell Catering. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button when I'm on. Happy, happy cooking.